Mama Sapato became a part of my conscious imagining in 2010 when I was making my first feature film in Buna, the final quarter. I was looking for a location that seemed to exemplify the simplicity of Maginanao life. And Mama Sapano was that location, was that milieu in my head, in my mind, in my imagination, which never became something physical because actors from Manila did not want to go to Maginanao. So the Mama Sampano in my mind was recreated in a small bayou in Davao. So when I did in Bunan, the simplicity of Mama Sampano was part of my imagination. But prior to me making in Bunan in 2010, I think the first remarkable experience that I had was with somebody from Mama Sampano that exuded humility despite his blessed and graceful talent. Uh, I was able to meet a man of great talent named Samao Sulaiman, a great Kuchapi uh, instrumentalist who was named Gawad Marilika Nambayan for the National Arts, for the, for the Traditional Arts. And this guy despite his huge talent, was also the, the, uh, the embodiment of great humility. And that great humility comes from another thing that I remember, or I, I want to remember, about Mama Sapano, which is profound spirituality. Because the talent of this guy, of Samal Sulaiman, is not just something that comes out of perhaps observation of earlier masters, but his talent, the way he played <coughs> the Yapi, was also a form of prayer. A part of himself being a co-creator of beauty, of grace, and these three things of simplicity, of humility, and spirituality are the three things that that endears me to Mama Sapano and pains me about what's happened to Mama Sapano. I think as a writer, as a filmmaker, uh, it's important for me to map the terrain of the soul and the mind and the imagination. I think more than anything else, as a filmmaker, I uh, try my best, I attempt to become a poet of space. And I think this space is something that we, here in Manila, or some of us have no idea of what Maginanao life is, or what Maginanao is, and what the armed conflict is, or what Mama Sapano is, needs to grapple with. Uh, because I think the narrative that um, Marian was talking about earlier also has to exist in a certain context or in a certain space. And in the discourse, the discussions, and the stories about Mama Sapano, the ignorance, the lack of understanding about the space is something that needs to be uh, part of a bigger uh, you know, uh, uh, search for knowledge of the unknown. I think uh, what's becoming problematic about the discourse on the Mama Sapano is how we define things as black and white with no gray areas. Because we, when we try to understand what happened in Mama Sapano, it's also important to understand the gray areas. Uh, we all we, we would like to think that when you go to Mama Sapano, when you try to discuss what happened to Papa Sapano, it's really a clear cut between DIFF and MILF. But we never sometimes try to think about the three years in between. Beyond political affiliation, beyond uh, loyalty to, to leaders, 
I think one of the areas that needs to be understood in the Mamaspan tragedy is kinship relations. Because I've been tired of blood is thicker than water. And if you try to understand the Mamaspan uh, event, perhaps we should also try to understand or to go back to our innate Filipino ness and how we understand family, clan, and kinship relations, which I'm going to discuss with this. And also, I think one of uh, the areas that need to be understood is beyond physical geography, because it's always uh, during the sense hearings and how we and how we understand or try to understand Mama Sapano. It's always about the physical space. It's about the physical geography. It's always about that bridge and all about that cornfields. But beyond the physical space, I think it's also important to to uh, to understand the metaphysical space in our Masapano. Because in order to understand how people in Mamasapano or how Maginano think, it's important for us to understand that space in between uh, the physical realm and the metaphysical realm. And I think uh, that's how uh, the people in Mamasapano, and even I think in general the Maginano, uh, think of, 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 of uh, space. In, in, in history, we always refer to Magindano or Magindano as Darul Salam. It's a, it's a space of peace. And that space of peace is something that has been violated and some, uh, has been invaded. And I think it's for us to restore a semblance of order before we can push for another discussion or you know, deeper understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.